Well, it's not like I can do anything. Let's see if we can't fix that laptop. Aki Harba. Electric Town. Mashima's here. The Maid Cafe. You know, it's come back later in the day. A capsule machine. Wait, what did you just say? Oh, it's a monster. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. That's a gift. That's cool. What's this, a toy store? Yeah, I'm gonna have to come here later. Oh, there's an arcade. Machine parts store. And a retro, okay, I'm gonna have to come here. But, you know, Mishima's here. Let's hang out with the Broham. Was it expensive? Well, it looks almost real. No. Okay. Don't do anything stupid. No, no. It, this is just for self defense. You do realize getting a gun in Japan isn't exactly very easy, dude. No way a teenager is going to be able to get one. <laughs> Increases experience er oh, nice. All right. Yamakun C zero. Good job brushing it off. Sorry. Well, see you later. The heroes are killers, lol. Officer, look. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Talking about Goro Akechi. Okay, class, let's get started. Yeah, I do wonder if he ain't gonna be a party member. I hope not. English, Mr. Seraph. I oh. need an answer. S O S stand for. Save. Nope.
Ah! I didn't know that. The anagram came after it was created. It's just a simple distress signal. I didn't know that. And now we all now we all know it. It's pretty neat. That's a nice little detail. I'm dead. I'm above average. I finished a little higher than the average score. Up in charm. Word from a catchy, nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seraph? Hey, yeah, yeah. More charm just for dodging a pen. Okay, that works for me. Ahem. Ah, I catch you. Welcome home. Honey, I'm home. You're back awfully late. How has business been for you lately? <laughs> Take a look around. Is the Nijima lady doing well? Unfortunately, we haven't seen each other lately. Probably because you're a prick. We had a difference of opinion. Because you're a prick. What are your thoughts, Representative Shino? He does not like that guy. It doesn't surprise me that people say our country is lethargic. We've let these phantom thieves run amok. That man's voice. And because they've targeted only prominent figures, our government leaders have been hesitant to act. I apologize for any concern they may have caused, and will henceforth search for an apt countermeasure. That politician's really honorable. I like how quick he says he's gonna do everything. This is an important undertaking, and one I intend to confront with every asset available to me. The selfish criminals enacting this social reform are in fact the ones most deserving of reformation. Answering to the interests of the people as hastily as possible is my natural duty as a politician. Fuck you! Man, this guy is admirable. No, he isn't. Rampant political scandals. Thieves on the loose. As sad as it is, this is the state of our nation. We must resolve this problem. And I assure the people of this noble country that I will do just that. What are you standing there staring off into space for? You're creeping me out. Well, you're standing too. Standing here is my job. <laughs> that politician is honest and carries an overwhelming amount of charisma. He's a prick. It feels like a trustworthy leader for Japan has finally come forth. Don't you think, boss? Sorry, wasn't listening. Criminals, hmm? Well, that must be how he sees it. However, that is ignorant of their true nature. You don't like politicians? It isn't about liking or disliking them. Good point. It's more about how he suggests the Phantom Thieves be crushed when they've yet to be arrested. If this Sukumura incident was not the Phantom Thieves, if they only change the hearts of criminals, then even though they can't be considered innocent, perhaps my goals are not so different from theirs. Okay, so you have a respect for me now. What are you, a fanboy? 
I knew there was something special about you. Ever since the first time we met. I feel as though I could tell you anything during our conversations. And I have more with a catchy. Anything new? Alright. More experience. Oh, that reminds me. I've been invited to a panel at Shujin Academy, and... Ah, uh, wait. I'm sure you know that already. Considering it's such a good opportunity, I've decided to accept the offer. That's good. Thank you for the coffee. It was delicious. Glad you liked it. Okay, Akechi's warming on me a bit. He's just a prick. I'm happy I could see you. I'll be going now. There's still something about him I don't trust. Let's go on over. Uh, not tonight. Maybe tomorrow. Hmm. Well then. Hang out with a dirty old oh. cougar. Because of your incidents? Yeah. You can trust me. Don't tell anyone, okay? Back when I covered politics for my publisher, I had a partner who helped with the photography, Keo Murakami. We were a pretty well-known team in the industry. We blew the lids off countless scandals together. That is until that day came. We were on the trail of a certain bureaucrat who was involved in a slush fund to support refugees. He kept himself pretty well guarded, so it was almost impossible to get any solid leads. Then one night, I got a voicemail from Keo saying she had gotten hold of something big. But that was the last I ever heard from her. The next day, that bureaucrat was found at the love was found dead at a love hotel, and Keo had gone missing. What was the cause of death? Well unknown. Oof. As for the killer? Shit. The police accused Kayo. They said she killed him in a crime of passion. That's impossible though. She would have never slept with a disgusting man like that. Sounds like defamation. That explains a lot. <laughs> Rank five of the devil. All right. More experience. Got docs on the Phantom Thieves yet? No. No, I do not. I'm not telling you where I live, people. East Texas is as far as as good as you're gonna the get. The festival seems to be a success. There's definitely a lot more people than last year. Well, yeah. 
This place got famous and all. Phantom Thieves, Kamoshida, Principal Kobayakawa. On top of that, we got a catchy as a guest. There may be police officers in plain clothes, too. Actually, they probably are here. We better be careful about what we discuss. Acting like normal students is going to be important. What do you normally do at a school festival? I've never been to one. Look around at the exhibits and eat stuff? There's no rules. Remember when we went to the beach before? Why not go about it like that? Just enjoy yourselves. I think I can do it if I've got everyone with me. I'll be close. You're so laid back. There's a possibility that your name and Ryuji's have come up. A number of the teachers had been questioned before, and even we were interviewed the other day, too. Don't let your guard down too much. It's true that the initial members have been at this for a long time, making it easier to get tracked. All right. Now, now, let's leave it at that. We just need to be mindful about what we're saying, correct? Oh, um... You seem to be having quite a lot of fun, Haru. You did mention that you were looking forward to this. I want to go around with everyone, and eat at the refreshment stands. Well, it'll be a nice change of pace. A lot of nasty stuff's continued lately. Shall we head off to the stands then? Let's do it! Alright, this is your first time at our school festival. They're pretty good, from what I've heard. I know a great one. Follow me. This is the place. Made takoyaki? New customers! I'll show you all to your seats. So, it's your classes stand. It's still a refreshment stand, isn't it? It's like a deserted island here. Well, I guess it's good for talking since there aren't any people here. We heard a lot of rumors even on our way here. And it was all bullshit. Here she comes. Act normal. Who cares? There's nothing normal about this anymore. Welcome home. May I take your order? Take my order? What happened to the maid atmosphere? There are a lot of odd flavors. Stick to a normal one. I bet they... I'm so sorry. We sold our last normal one to the previous customer. The hell? Well then, I'll have the mentai cheese takoyaki. I'm sorry. We're out of Codro. Then how about the squid? Um... We're currently out catching squid. It'll probably take another five or six hours. Oh, Christ. That doesn't even sound remotely possible. Ain't this whole menu just a sham? Actually, we spent most of our budget on making the maid costumes look nice. We didn't put too much effort into the octopus. Oh, I can see that. Ryuji, you're making a scene. Then... What would you recommend with what you have now? Water. That would be the Russian takoyaki. We'll have that, please. This will take a little time. Uh, let's forget about the octopus and get back on topic. On that note, hearing Kamoshida being almost treated like a victim makes me want to eat my stress away. I've even heard conjecture that the principal was targeted for reasons like he knew too much. I kept hearing about Goro Akechi's popularity. Yeah. All thanks to the Phantom Thieves. You know, did that Akechi guy agree to show up here because he believes we didn't kill anybody? Or he may simply love large gatherings. Oh, true. He didn't seem like he minded being pampered by the media at all. We plan on stealing intel, but we might fall into another trap. I'm gonna be bummed if that happens. Oh, hell no. Wait, is that Takoyaki done yet? 
Yeah, I'm starving here. You are so carefree. Does it mean that you have nerves of steel in any situation? Actually, I'm just hungry. Still, it doesn't change the fact that we don't know what Akechikun is planning. Thank you for the wait. Ooh, it's fresh made. Lies, I heard a microwave go off. <laughs> well, it's not like I was expecting crispy takoyaki at a school festival or anything. So, what makes this a Russian takoyaki? Could there be jam in it as a secret ingredient? That sounds quite delicious. Well, one of these is special. Uh, one of them's obviously red. That's gotta be the one. Dude, don't tell me the Russian part means... It's like, going for the obvious one is manly. I is that so? Well, I'd prefer the most beautifully shaped one. But all of them are misshapen. Can we just go to another food stand? Oh, aren't you all going to eat? I think I'll go for the special one. Wait, is she honestly going for it? Do you want to go for the red one? You think it's spicy? Uh, well, yeah. Oh, everyone's all here. Hi, Akechi. The, the panel isn't until tomorrow, though. I came to check out the venue. I can't make any mistakes, since a lot of people will be present. Someone's eager. But people ended up recognizing me. Everyone bombarded me with questions. That's because you were sloppy. I grew tired of the baseless rumors they kept bringing up. So I escaped to where there weren't any people. I'm going to have one of these. I wanted the red one. <gasps> the special one! Let's just call this my performance fee. Sure. Fine. Hmm. It's quite the. Mm. Mm. Eating it in one bite is a bad idea. <gasps> my throat. This is. Oh, oh, my stomach. It burns. Are you okay? Do you need water? Uh, uh, I'm. I'm fine. <laughs> I just love, uh, spicy, uh, spicy stuff. <laughs> hey, does he sound broken to you? A little bit. <laughs> well then, I'll, I'll see you, uh, t -t -t tomorrow. <laughs> wow, he's really trying to hold it together. He's waddling around like some comedian. It's like he wants to get picked up for some commercial or something. But, did he truly come to simply check the venue? This isn't good. I keep suspecting every little thing. I know what you mean. I'm doing the same too. I need to do my best tomorrow. We need to somehow get him to be our source of intel. I'm gonna pull this off no matter what. That a catchy guy, when he got here, didn't he say that everyone's all here? Everyone? You're here just imagining things. No, he knows something. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well then. Okay. Nice. Let's get some sleep.
Well then, we will now begin today's panel. Our guest of honor is Goro Akechi. I feel kind of bad considering how many people have gathered. I'm sure you all would have been happier to have a singer or a mascot appear, wouldn't you say? We'd appreciate if you could tell us about your experiences with the notorious Phantom Thieves. It'd be wonderful if you could let us hear more about your actual investigative process. I'm not used to being the one interrogated, so please go easy on me. How much do you think he knows? He talks about the Phantom Thieves are dangerous, yet he says they haven't committed any murders. Either he has an idea who the true culprit is, or he has uncovered the identities of the Phantom Thieves. Maybe it's both. Come on, Makoto. You gotta get it out of him. As much as you're allowed to say, would you tell us how far along your investigation is on them? Getting right to the point, I see. Well, if it's as much as I'm allowed to say, then everything on TV and the internet is all of it. We don't have any leads yet, and the methods behind their crimes are still unclear. I see. Even with this country's power, arresting them is proving to be difficult. Is that the case? I wouldn't phrase it that way, but, well, something like that. Right. Thank you for answering that question. By the way, it seems you've denied a correlation between the Phantom Thieves and the murders. Why the sudden change? Until now, haven't you upheld your stance that the Phantom Thieves are dangerous? How are you so positive that they haven't committed murder? Are you a little too comfortable interrogating people? Why, it's as if you're a prosecutor. Uh, excuse me. This is something I've personally been interested in, so I couldn't help it. But won't you tell us? What reason is there that you'd claim their innocence when you previously stated they were unjust? Mako-chan's really pressing for an answer. She's pelting him with questions. Every person whose heart they changed have truly been criminals, including Okumura. Why then was he the only one who needed to be killed? Why is that? I must admit, I couldn't deduce a reason. That's why I believe that case should be thought of as if a different party is responsible. And if, this is all hypothetical, mind you, if the Phantom Thieves are the ones I know of, I can't possibly imagine they would kill anyone. In your comment just now, does this mean the police have already identified who they are? Oh, no. The police haven't gotten that far yet. But I have my own conclusions about the true identities of the Phantom Thieves. He's gotta be bluffing! Hype down! He's lying, right? But if it's the truth... You're not going to ask me who they are? It may have repercussions on the investigation. Are you sure you can share that with us? It's only my personal opinion, so announcing that here wouldn't pose a problem. However, there is a possibility that everyone present will hear the truth before the police or media. The truth? What's he planning on saying? That's quite the confidence you have. If you're so certain, then very well. I'd like to ask you then. Who do you think the Phantom Thieves are, Akechi-san? That idiot! No. There's no way he could have any evidence. They're people you all know quite well. The identity of the Phantom Thieves are... Ah, oh, it's mine. I apologize for the interruption, but I can't turn off my phone due to my job. Would you mind if I step away for about ten minutes or so? I'm terribly sorry, everyone, but we'll be taking a break. We'll resume the panel in ten minutes. Please don't troll me online for this interruption, okay? <laughs> Is there a room I may use? There's the PE faculty office. 
I want you to come too. There's a matter I want to discuss. My cat came in here to say hello. Your friends from yesterday are here, aren't they? Did you set this up? We only have ten minutes, you know. Such a sweet little cat. What do you want to talk about? She's also a little shithead, but, you know, cats. No! That's gotta be shopped! I have video footage, too. Please, let's not feign ignorance. All of you can go to that other world, too. Yes? What are you talking about? As I just said, I know everything. I also know that when you traverse over there, your appearance changes as well. It's because of those mysterious powers, isn't it? I found out about that world about a month ago. This had been installed onto my phone without my knowledge. Dude, it's the NAV. When the app activated on its own, the scenery around me suddenly changed. Quite frankly, I still can't believe it myself. But from the look of these photos, all of you seem quite used to it. We've been listening to you blab on for a while now, but cut the delusional... All of you are acting as phantom thieves in the metaverse. I can say so with conviction because I have the same power as you. He's got us. That's right. So, you admit it then. I mean, you have the evidence. In all honesty, I've been curious about you since the time of the Matarame case. But to think it would end up like this... We didn't kill anyone! I believe that as well. How can you be so sure? He's gonna be a party member. Because I saw another. The real culprit. For real? Who was it? I couldn't identify his face. He had a mask on, after all. Actually, when I took these photos, I entered that world too. That's when I saw someone else moving about, besides all of you. He shot at me the moment he noticed me. That's who killed President Okumura? Most likely. At the very least, I was almost killed by him. I can't die here. I need to determine the truth. When those thoughts overcame me, I awakened to that power. A most fortunate accident. He has a persona. This guy has a persona too? This cat. I swear, it just... talked. Morgana. Our teammate who taught us about the metaverse. Really? This is unbelievable. But it is true that you know things that I don't. Say, Morgana. Were you also the one who instructed them on how to change people's hearts? I experienced that world too. But I still haven't solved that mystery yet. We go in the metaverse, we call them palaces, to steal the core of their desires, their treasure. And those whose treasure has been stolen have a change of heart. Ah. <laughs> well, there's certainly no way anyone could figure out such an MO. Anyways, back to what you were talking about. Are we in this mess because of that guy? Yes, Ryuji. Although I don't completely understand the method, all you do is simply reform people. Someone else is behind the murders. However, the police have decided that the Phantom Thieves did it. They'll arrest you at this rate. They're going to treat me as my father's murderer? I can't overlook such a grave mistake. Which is precisely why I want us to strike a deal. I may be able to save you from this situation. A deal? I would like you to cooperate with me on investigating the truth. And if we decline? Then I think I'll have to inform the police about all of you. Along with that video I mentioned. In other words, you have everything to gain and nothing to lose. This ain't no deal, it's blackmail! Hey, it's better than nothing. Say what you will. This is the method that I believe is correct. 
The justice I uphold will not tolerate criminals who kill people at their leisure. Justice. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Oh, that's his that's his Arcana card. You've heard that sai -san is the one spearheading the investigation about you Phantom Thieves, correct? The higher-ups are concerned only with settling the case. They want to capture the culprits behind the psychotic breakdown incidents and end the commotion. Those are the ones who are putting pressure on sai -san. I can only imagine her impatience. What of evidence that we did it? How do they intend on proving it? Even if there's no objective explanation to the method, it's over once causality is established. sai -san can't make rational judgments at the moment. If she were to be cornered, well, she may even make up a confession. Make it up? So, they're gonna make it all our fault? Just because they feel like it? Yeah, pretty much. We haven't killed anyone, though! And we're still going to be arrested? You'll be found guilty if you're caught. And it will be treated as a very serious crime. Bullshit! None of that makes any sense! Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do alone anymore to stop the flow of things. That's why he's work- that's why you're working with me. Because you want the murderer caught. You don't care about- you don't really care too much about a group of vigilantes. And that's why you want our cooperation. Yes. In return, I'll turn a blind eye to what you've done. Those are my conditions. That said, I ask that you disband the Phantom Thieves after this. What should we do about Akechi-san's proposal? Is that our only way? Well, you're demanding a lot. I see. I thought I was making a lot of concessions myself. Well, you don't have to decide at the moment. Considering this is you we're talking about, I believe you'll come to a favorable reply. More justice. All right. I'm glad we could talk. It's been a while since I've been able to spend such a meaningful time like this. I guarantee he's gonna be a party member. I look forward to your answer. It was definitely worth coming today. For various reasons. We should be getting back. I got the game case right here. Yeah, he's on the cover. But the rest of the party, I guarantee he's a party member. About that. I'm sorry. Would it be acceptable if we ended the panel here? The reason why you called for me in the first place was because you wanted intel. Correct? My business is concluded as well. I'll deal with it somehow. Damn it! He had complete control over us! Calm down, buddy. Hey, they're going! What the? Sorry about the sudden break. An urgent task came in. So, I truly apologize about this, but I'll have to end things here today. To make up for the time that was planned for this panel, the Rakugo Research Club will instead be- I can't say anything in detail regarding the Phantom Thieves' investigation, but I feel another great stride will occur again soon. I hope you all continue to pay attention to what happens. Let's have a big round of applause for today's guest, Goro Akechi. Was that really our best course of action? He totally used Makoto's suggestion against us. Indeed. We intended to get intel out of him, but to think it would play out like this. So what? We'll just accept his deal? We don't have much of a choice. He's got evidence on us. We really don't have a choice. Damn it! What are we gonna do? Calm down, Ryuji. How am I supposed to calm down? What are we gonna do? What's done is done. We'll have to cool our heads and think more on this. We must make up our minds by the time he contacts us again. 
We need to give this a lot of thought. What is there to think about? We don't cooperate, we go to prison. Similar occurrences followed in succession earlier this spring. Although things have quieted down until recently, several incidents have occurred once again. A calling Furthermore, card. new information has come to light about the suspect who suffered sudden mental shutdown. He had received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. Why did Futaba have something like this? If a calling card was delivered, we can only assume that the Phantom Thieves are behind it. If so, those occurrences back in spring can be attributed to them as well. More I knew it. She's... Oh, God. Okay, he figured us out. Shit! The post-festival party is about to begin in the gymnasium. Please join us, everybody. How about I don't do that? I don't like being around crowds of people. I fucking hate it. I hate being in huge crowds of people in a cramped up space. Hello, Angel Girl. Why are you staring at me? All right, that was a great performance by the dance club. Everybody give them another round of applause. <sighs> I'm sorry. I can't stop thinking about what Akechi-kun said. like nothing bad could ever happen when you say that. And now it's time for your favorite shooting tradition, the student sharing special. Oh Round boy. Of applause, everyone. Sharing? I never knew we had such an event. All right, who has something to say? Anyone? No. I'll just have to pick someone then. Oh, he's going to choose? I w How about that fluffy haired girl over there? I choose you! Huh? Is he... looking this way? That he is. Well then, come on up! He's talking to me. It's because you're cute. Uh, never mind. Well, 
party is finally over. It turned out to be more like an interview party, huh? I still can't believe you said that. You are in trouble. Huh? Right. At any rate, I'm not sure what I would have done without you. Thank you for saving me. You're a mysterious person. But you're so reliable. I think the two of us will get along quite well in the future. And I got your Arcana card. Just kidding. I think. Who knows what may lie ahead? For now, I'm worried about what happened with Akechi-kun. But I have to say, my first post-festival party was quite fun. Though, I guess it's my last, too. Here. I'd like you to have this. Uh, Sakura... It's nothing to do with SP. I... bought it earlier. Thank you, it looks delicious. <laughs> now then, let's go home. Okay, I didn't get her Arcana card. I was hoping I would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm? Welcome home. Yeah. I guarantee Sojiro is waiting on us. The mass media has been causing quite a commotion lately. No countermeasure for the Phantom Thieves, the sorry state of the police, destruction of safety. They're saying whatever they want. So, how's the investigation progressing? Any clues? Nothing that leads to a firm conviction yet. What's going on here? Didn't you say that you were sure about closing this case? And I thought I told you that failure won't be tolerated. <laughs> well, this is troublesome. If things continue at this rate, never mind a promotion. But, sir... I had high expectations for you. But it seems this task was too much to handle for someone so young. We may need to reform the operation as well, since the selected personnel for this... Please, let me see this through to the end. This case is something that I've always... I know that you've been at this for a while now. Even before the police spared us the staff for it. If you can manage an arrest, I've made special arrangements so that you can question them personally. That's what you want, isn't it? The leadership of this country is about to change. I'll make myself clear again. Failure isn't an option. We need results. I understand. You're allowed to take some bold measures if you need to. We need good results, no matter what. Oh, one more thing. If the unexpected happens to occur, contact me immediately. To you, sir? I said that failure isn't an option, didn't I? Everything is proceeding as planned. <laughs> dun dun dun! Yeah, this 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 shit's hitting the fan. We're home. Sojiro. I was cleaning up, and found this. <gasps> this is a calling card, right? I read about it online too. Y you went into my room without my permission? His house. I'll apologize as much as you want later. So, what is this? That's... 
Is it something to get flustered over? I knew it. This isn't just some game you're playing. Why aren't you saying anything? Why did you keep it? I mean, it was memorable. Explain. Explain. Is it something that you can't explain? <laughs> hey, if this keeps up, Futa... I'll explain everything. You will, huh? I'll get right to the point. Is this a real one? Was a, well, a change of heart triggered in you? <laughs> How about it? Ever since Mom died, I, there was n no exit. I was trapped in, in a labyrinth of my heart. I knew I had to leave it, but I, I couldn't do it by myself. Futaba. Here, sit down. I can at least listen to what you have to say. The Phantom Thieves saved me. They stole my messed up heart. It's the same as Mom's research. They changed my cognition. <laughs> Seriously? <sighs> Wakaba's research about altering one's cognition. I wondered about it myself, too. It's... So you found out. Really? When she said she was going to go to the beach out of nowhere, and even the doctors had thrown in the towel. <laughs> At first, I just chalked it up as other kids being a better support for you than any adult. But as I kept watching the tabloid shows here day in and day out, a thought crossed my mind. It's fake news, buddy! I thought your case kind of seemed similar to what these phantom thieves were doing. Wow! I'm still your guardian, you know. I'd never overlook such a drastic change in your behavior. Sojiro... But to think that Wakaba's research and the phantom thieves changing hearts were about the same thing. Back in the day, I used to be a government official. My job was to be the bridge between the country and the lab that Wakaba worked at. It's around that time that I got to know her. Explains a lot. She said something odd when we were out drinking, that she might soon die in an odd way. Who wouldn't take that as a joke? I just laughed it off. But it happened exactly as she said. If anything were to happen to you, I'd feel like I let her down. There's something I want to ask you. Judging from your attitude, you knew about this calling card, didn't you? You should have known that Futaba had a change of heart through the Phantom Thieves as well. Is there a connection between you and them? The first incident of a change of heart was a teacher at your school. The kid who brought that painting here was a pupil of that artist who had a change of heart, wasn't he? And then, there's Futaba. These scandals always seem to find their way around you. What do you have to say? You're sharp. And I'm sorry for keeping it quiet. <sighs> These people are called criminals by the general public. Why did you introduce such dangerous people to Futaba? That's not true! I asked them! That's why he saved me! He stole my heart! God damn it, Futaba! Asked? Stole? Uh, um... Wait, are you saying that he's the one who changed your heart? She's already changed her own heart, but yes. So, he's not connected with the Phantom Thieves, but is one himself? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're pulling my leg, aren't you? Yeah, I'm a phantom thief. And I would really appreciate it if you didn't rat me out to the cops. Are you serious? Yes, especially about the part with the cops. You really are a phantom thief? Oh, 
for crying out loud. Don't rat me out. Sojiro! So, basically, I've been sheltering a phantom thief for the last six months? Yes. And on top of that, Futaba's involved too. Please do not rat me out. What the hell? I... I want to find the culprit who killed my mom. Wait. She was killed. I... remember it now. Stop this nonsense! Why won't you believe me? Are you the same as everyone else? Didn't you know already? The way mom died wasn't normal! Didn't you notice that her research was stolen by someone? Sojiro! When she passed away, I did think it was odd. It was awfully fishy. But what could I do? All I was able to do was run from it all. And the outcome of that was me spending my retirement here. Also, the reason I took custody of you was me trying to selfishly atone for what happened to Wakaba. It's basically my fault that you got burdened with all this crap. It's not your fault, Sojiro. I acted all big, lectured, even yelled at you kids. And in the end, I'm the one being consoled. <laughs> I'm hopeless and a laughingstock, aren't I? No. That's not true. I mean, the one who killed Mom's the one at fault! <sighs> I see. Don't worry. Even if you are the real Phantom Thieves, I have no intention of reporting or kicking you out. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> I mean, who would believe such a story? Garo Akechi. Unless they catch you red-handed, it's impossible to explain that you're the Phantom Thieves. Let me just say one thing, though. Immediately back out of a fight that you can't win. Yeah, I, I already know that. And I have. What do you mean? Don't you get it? If, by chance, you pissed off the same guys that killed Wakaba, then they're not someone that kids like you can deal with. Listen to reason, all right? We're done talking about this. Let's eat. I'm so hungry because I raised my voice so much. <sighs> At least we avoided the worst case scenario of being reported arbitrarily. Still, we should tell the others about what just happened. Oh, I'm tired. I know how that is. Oh my god, I've been going almost an hour. Yeah, he knows. Someone very powerful. I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Persona 5 as I go on about this. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.